another video and as you can tell I've had a wardrobe change because it is very hot at the moment. I was all down for my jumper but it got hot. So now I'm in a nice thin jumper that I really enjoy. But anyway, today's video is going to be one of my top five Tuesdays and today's theme is very special because it actually has been a whole year since I started Top 5 Tuesday. There's been 52 weeks of me making a video every Tuesday, do my top five of different themes, and I'm sorry about this thing of light. What is with this ray of light just killing me? I couldn't get into a great position, I'm trying. Just move over here. But I'm very excited, so because it's been a year since I started, I'm gonna be doing some throwback weeks. So I've read a lot of books in the past year and my ideas of some of these themes have changed. So, so I'm gonna be redoing some, so I'm very excited. So today's video is gonna be my top five standalones and some of them are the same and a lot of them are different, so let's get into it. So number five on my list would be Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Manson. This was just a cute story. I loved it. It's so fun. I've, I've wanted to read this book for the longest time and when I finally got it, I read it and it was the best thing ever, but it's such a great contemporary and I do want to read more on Morgan Manson's books. I just haven't had a chance to get them and to really get into the reading experience, but I really like it and I just, it's a great book. The story is so cute. And everything's great. Four on my list would be The Distance Between Us by Casey West. This is another author who I really want to get into her books but I just haven't had time to do it. But I really liked this story. I read this book in one sitting which I think was a really good way to read it. Really great experience. Again these characters are just so adorable and just everything in my life is great but I definitely loved the story and the differences of like the poor and the rich and it's just everything is perfect. Number three on my list would be Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. I loved this book and it was the first Rainbow Rowell book I read and from that point on I know that I want to read everything and I do own all her books so I'm getting very close to reading all five of them but I loved this book and the concept of it was so cool about how this guy fell in love with a girl that he never met and he's never talked to. Like it was just so good and it had the whole ideas of the internet and the cyber and just Everything was perfect and it was just such a well written book and I just, I can't because I loved it so much. Number two on my list would be Entwined by Heather Dixon. This book is a 12 dancing princesses retelling and it's one of my favourite fairy tales and it was done so well in this and it had so much darkness and amazingness and it was just such a good spit on the story and I really enjoyed that about this book because I just I love that I love retellings because you get elements that you're familiar with and then elements that are being introduced that you just it's crazy but I just loved it so much all the characters are great having all these and having such a variety of characters in this book was amazing as well so I was just so happy to have read this book and I just I was so excited about everything. If you can't tell I'm actually sick at the moment so that's why my voice is just dying. It was so bad you know what I got I've been sick for a couple of days and I was working trying to you know not tell them I was sick and then uh, yesterday I just lost it and I just started crying on the checkout and I was just like oh it was so much pain I went home. It was so bad and I feel so embarrassed now <laughs> I'm thinking back of it. I'm just not gonna go back to work, you know, because it's just too much. But going on to number one, that would be The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. How can I not talk about this book? This was number one a year ago and it's still number one now, so it just shows you how much I can love this book. I had such a great reading experience and at the beginning of this book I was a bit confused and it was like kind of like what is going on but as, a, but as you get into it it really just latches onto you and just, it kills you but I enjoyed it so much and I just had so much fun reading this it's such a great story and I think it's going to become a classic and it's going to be a perfect amazing story and I'm going to try and make everyone read it because it is so good I really enjoyed it immensely so guys, these are my top five favourite standalones and what I enjoy is there's like three contemporaries in there. I used to not read contemporaries at all, I just couldn't do it because that's just not what I like to read. But now I love them. They're perfect. But anyway guys, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you soon. Bye!